the Bindu, the Omphalos, um, the Goddess, and the Frame Drum. And these are the core of these mysteries. This is a yantra from the yogic tradition in India. And a yantra is a geometric shape designed to hold the mind for meditation, to concentrate the mind on. So what this is, is the dot and the cinder is the bindu. And then the power that brings manifestation out of the void, out of the bindu, which is the compacted, unmanifested <coughs> energy of the universe, is the power of desire. So that's why we find arrows often around the edges of things in all these traditions, often playing a frame drum. But it's this power of desire between, um, and archetypally speaking, between male and female that brings the surrounding, expanding circle of everything into existence. So this is contemporary, but this is uh, Paleolithic. Now, I was just looking at it last night, and it's from Brno, and I might not be saying that right, but from what's now the Czech Republic. And it was so interesting that last fall, out of the blue, I got an invitation to go to Brno and teach a class. I couldn't go, but I thought, oh, how weird. After all these many years of showing this piece, of, I might have tried harder to get there if I had remembered this was from Brno. <laughs> So here we have the same shape, and you can see it's also a, a vulva. And the oldest images made by human beings are depictions of vulvas. Now, for those of us who majored in art, these were not in Jansen's history of art. And when I started to realize what the oldest images were that human beings made, the oldest symbolic representations of thoughts, um, and that they were vulvas, I was just sort of dumbfounded. And you can go online now and just search and find tons of stuff. But at that time, it was obscure and hard because they couldn't be um, exhibited in the museums because they were vulvas. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, the vulva is also the gate, the portal. And these are all symbols that overlap. And this was colored red the color of blood with ochre, 